All right, guys, here we are again with the Miller table. I know I said in the last video that I did on this that I was going to be done with testing. Well, I've got I had a couple things come to me and stuff kind of flies around in my head once in a while. And I got to think about it, then I end up kind of doing it. So that's what we're doing here. So notice now, the last time the table was at, it was at uh, 3.1, I believe. Now if you look, well, it's lit again, it's exactly 2.0, and the, uh, the level is exactly uh, in the center where it should be. So what all, what all that has done is flattened out the table just a little bit. So I'm thinking that's going to slow down the water flow considerably. And uh, we'll see after a bit what it does. And I just dropped my light and broke the legs off it. so. The light I was going to put there for us uh, is no more. So, anyhow, I'll be back. All right, guys. So here's what happened to the light. It fell over, and these legs were on here, and they fold out, and I caught it like this. And after that, so she's no good no more. Anyhow. Uh, can I say? <laughs> I'm going to have a light. One more thing we're going to change. We're just going to try a little something here today to see how it works out. I'm not going to uh, screen 10, 20, 30, and 40. I'm just going to screen 20. And uh, we're going to use this again, same material. Uh, we'll do a little bit more than a scoop maybe. Well, we'll see. I haven't, I haven't quite decided what we're going to do there. But uh, the other thing we're not going to do, I'm not going to pull the black sand up because I think by leaving the black sand in, it's going to slow down the water flow because it's heavier and it'll make stuff drop out quicker and maybe uh, catch more gold up front without having to mess around with all the different sizes is what my thought is. But you know how thoughts are, they're like every, everything else, everybody has one. We'll see. Okay, there's the black sand, or the concentrates, it's mainly black sand. Uh, I took a full scoop out, and I screened it here. You can see this is a 20 mesh. The so rule we'll have is 20 plus and 20 minus only. So I'll wet that down, and we'll run the uh, minus, 20 minus first, and uh, maybe run the 20 plus last. We'll, we'll see. I, I'm not sure what I want to do with that. If I want to just crush it more because it's a little, you know, there's some rock in here and whatnot. And it's pretty big, so I don't think I'll run that on the table. Okay, so I've got the jet dry in and everything's ready to go. We're screened, so let's get after it. Okay, there we are. Let's fire up the bilge pump. We'll start out at about 60%. So we'll get set up. The weirs get full of water and things would happen in there. Okay, there's our 20 minus. 20 plus is still over there in the screen. Uh, tables running fairly good. I'm going to have to check and see how fast it is going, but uh, let me get the camera moved and we'll start. Okay, here's going to be the first scoop. Let's see what this does. Well, notice how different this runs from the last time. The blondes are coming off, the black is staying. And Staying well, that looks good. Uh, still at about 40%. And I hope you can see here how it's running off. From here. And I can see gold. One, two, there, three. So we'll let this head in work. Let it expose by itself, and this lower stuff here will 
and look at it. If there's nothing in it, it's going in the, in the catch pan. This is running really well. That's a little bit different angle. Uh, probably going to get a lot of glare off of that. But I'll just change it up for you there. I'm going to do a nice big scoop here. Run one scoop while you're done. And uh, it was pretty good. Uh, no bigger things in it. Like I've been saying all along, I'm not looking for big gold here, I'm just looking for the fine that I missed. I didn't miss it, I just didn't take because we were dredging. And, uh, and that's the name of the game, it, and it is quite a bit slower at the lower angle, but I saw a lot more fine gold. I mean, a lot more. See a lot of stuff that isn't gold. So I've been playing or not, I've been playing with the uh, angle a little bit and with the speed. So what I've done now, I've increased the speed about 5%, not, not a lot. And, uh, that's helped a little bit for this clearing out. But everything seems to flow a little better. But the bigger gold is really falling out nice. I think uh, if I was a little less angle yet, I think it would be better. Because right now I'm seeing a little gold up here, and here's one there. Yeah. And the bigger gold isn't the problem, it's that little bitty stuff in front of it, it's up. And once the float, as soon as the bottle hits the water, That was a pretty good one, man. That scoop had so far six. Quite a bit in that scoop. That's seven. Now these again aren't giants, but they all end up and they're going to be a button when it's done. Okay. A little different shot. See if we can find some goodies. Oh yeah, there's a nice one right there. Action two right there. I like that speed with the table flatter. I like that speed. 
at uh, about 45 percent. If it just the flow is better and the gold stops quicker. One whole run pretty quick that time. Just so you know, that's the scoop, this little bitty shovel compared to my thumb. So it's not much bigger than my thumb. And that's all we're doing each time. Bit of black sand that last time. Okay, there's a little bit in view. See if we can find anything. Let's see one, two, three, and then down here at the bottom. Alright guys, I've run that total pan, one scoop, uh, this is going to be uh, kind of a multi-day thing, I'm going to run another scoop or two, but not today, so uh, I'll be back in the next day and we'll see what we get. Guys, we're back here day two, and uh, you can see the change I've made, I'm at one degree on my slope, and you can see my adjusters here, uh, both of them are almost all the way and side to side we look pretty darn good the bubbles right in the middle I remember yesterday I said that uh, I broke the legs on my on my light and this is for my green screen <laughs> and I bought these and it must have been really cheap or something here I don't know but I hit one on the edge of the on the edge of the tub here and it broke right off and I dropped it and broke the rest off so now what we have is a newly fabricated base for the light. This is uh, 16 gauge aluminum, half inch aluminum angle iron, uh, pop riveted in three places both sides, much more stable than the other was. And you can see what the table looks like with just uh, shop lights. And this is what it looks like with these lights. It just lights up much better. I can even give you a shot from this side if you'd like. I don't know that you'll like it, but there it is. Hi right, guys, we're up and running. I got fresh uh, jet dry in the tub. I've got a look here. Go down a little bit. There's our new pan. That's also still still 20 months. I took the 20 plus out. So that's what we're going to be running. Now uh, we're going to be running at one degree, which I'm just curious to see how that's going to be, if it's going to be better or worse, if it's making the gold stick better or worse. So I'm shooting from a different angle here this time, so it's a little bit backwards for me. Okay, first two. That's with no light, and this is with light. This could be light, and there was. So 
And I like the way the blonde is peeling off of some of the, the lighter black sand. I like the way this is running at one degree. That's uh, not bad. And there's gold right here. Just one little speck, there's one little speck there. What I want to see is if when I do this, it is still safe. That one moved a little bit right there. But there's some down here, and I see it right on the edge, and they're not moving and going anywhere, so let's take them. So I just brushed them out of where he was because there's a lot of black sand and eyes right here. And I can pick him up without picking up the black sand. That's good. I like the one degree. It's much slower though. And that can be a little bit of a problem for some. Guys, that's about three more little shovelfuls. I still got quite a bit in the pan, but it's starting to get really hot and humid. That must mean we're going to get rain. So we're going to call our quits for the for this video. And uh, we did get quite a bit of, of fines uh, this time, but uh, also got quite a bit of black sand. That's my fault. So anyhow, if you like this. All right, guys. What you're looking at here is three scoops of uh, dredge tailings, I'm sorry, dredge cons that I've cleaned up and you can see there's gold clear out here, clear out there, clear out over here uh, and that's a little half ounce vial just so I could get uh, something to focus on but it's uh, not bad for, for three scoops. Now in doing this the three scoops, scoops I've started with factory recommended setting and uh, adjusting the water flow with the water valve on the Royal Miller table and did not use a uh, built pump control uh, and also I run some material that uh, some friends of ours had given us that had been run through at least four times with a piece of equipment and we got a little gold out of it so uh, this doesn't look like much because it is really small. I mean, and some of the gold in here is the same size as those little specks of black sand you can see in here in different places. So anyhow, I've, I've changed what I've done. I've changed the angle the table runs at from 3 to 2 to 1. I've put a bilge pump control on. And we'll go look at that bilge pump controller. He is right about here. Yeah, there he is. So, and this is a really good control. It's, uh, again, it's probably the best one I've ever seen. And it's uh, Washington Beach Mining uh, makes these. It's 12 volt, 30 amp bilge pump control. So you can control about anything. Uh, I'm not using a battery. Uh, 
here. I'm using this power supply I got on Amazon. I don't get anything for it, but you can get it there. And this is made by Michal, and it is a 12 volt, 50 amp power supply, so you can run this all day long. It's fan cooled. So that's another change I've made. Um, the flow I've cut down to about 40%. So 40% uh, is a real good flow that keeps cleaning your, uh, your black sand and your cons off the table. And at the same time, it, uh, <laughs> it doesn't blur your screen like that. But, uh, at the same time, it still keeps moving the black sand off. I've tried running a magnet and pulling the black sand out first and I'm still not sure I like doing that because the black sand has a tendency to, to capture more of the gold and let it run slower but it also enables you to pick up more black sand as you can see by this here. So anyhow that's where I'm at right now I haven't run a lot of material yet just the, those three big scoops uh, some of it was my dredge cons and some was the, what those friends of ours give, had given us. So. so anyhow, that's it for this video. It's getting super long, so I'm going to do some speed up through it. So if you like this video, do the same. Give it a thumbs up, share, subscribe, give it a great comment, because comments help build the channel. Come back again, and thank you so much for watching this series. All right, guys, this is what it looks like in a vial. Obviously, it's magnified by the water but that's not bad looking gold considering I would have thrown it away if I hadn't have done this yeah good stuff